Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a lovely day. Today's video is going to be a review of the Scentsy wax melts that I've recently received in the post. I had some new fragrances that came out and the lovely lady from Scentsy sent me some to review. So that's what I'm gonna do for you. So I have melted every single new scent that was sent to me and it's safe to say, I think I love them all. But anyway, I'm gonna go through them all with you now. So I have here, I have about I have one, two, three, four, five scents which she sent through to me. So I'm just gonna go through them all with you, let you know how strong they were, what they smelt like, yada, yada, yada. So the first one I'm gonna go through with you is called The Little Mermaid. First of all, she has recently changed her packaging. So I really, really like it. I really like this um, foil kind of packaging and it always normally comes with like the scentsy. Let me put it up a little bit closer. Um, sort of laid one with the butterfly which is really cute and I love these full packages so it comes like this and you get some sort of you get some sort of and you get some soy wax melts in here and I can't remember how many you get in there but you get like little hearts like this so and the prices let me just say they're super super affordable if you want to try any of the wax melts I will leave all her you know bits and bobs and links and stuff from Facebook in the description box down below so the first one I'm going to review for you is the Little Mermaid. Now, how cute is that? Oh, love that name. And everybody loves the name. The name? Everybody loves the Disney film The Little Mermaid, don't they? I remember when it came out and I went to see it at the cinema with my mum and dad. But anyway, so The Little Mermaid was a really, really lovely, fresh, clean aquatic scent. That's what I'd call it. I'd say it's on the medium to the medium high strength. I only needed one of these little little hearts to actually melt my room it was a smaller room mind but it did melt fill the whole room all the same and it is a lovely fresh aquatic scent so you get like a lovely kind of sea air and a sea breeze scent with a sort of hint of musk but not overly musky and just like a lovely watery water lily kind of scent in there as well absolutely gorgeous really good for sort of like a summer's day if you want like a lovely fresh clean scent this will be perfect like a perfect one to put in your hallway as people come in the house absolutely love that scent now the next one i have here is <gasps> i love this one escada turquoise summer now this is i love escada perfumes do you know what i got hooked on escada perfumes when i think it was oh my god back in the 90s i had my first girls holiday to tenerife and i bought my first escada perfume at the airport and do you know what i love their scents ever ever since and a lot of people don't actually know who escada are where, where have you been on your life? But they do the most gorgeous tropical kind of scents. They're not, they are the most fab perfumes for sort of holidays. Also, also kind of tropical and fruity and are oh, absolutely gorgeous. So this is called Escada Turquoise Summer. And oh, I love it, love it, love it. It's a really, really, obviously you get, it's, like a, it's a perfume scent. However, it is more on the fruity side, like a fruity citrus. So, oh, I absolutely love this really really do so you get a hint of watermelon 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 in there well, kind of like a melon scent overall with like a tangerine like a lovely citrus scent in there with a with an underlying really slight floral scent in there as well but a really sweet floral so this is quite sweet but well, i absolutely love it and this is so 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 strong so i describe this as a holiday scent it's tropical with like, like tangerines and melons with a lovely sort of sweet kick to it as well with an underlying floral scent but like a sweet floral and oh, this is so so strong love it love it love it love it love it love it really enjoyed that one as you can tell the next one i have here another one that i absolutely loved black cherry now not a lot i can really say on the scent apart from it was absolutely absolutely gorgeous and do you know what it reminds me of in the body shop they used to do i don't know if they do i'm reminiscing a bit here but they used to do a black cherry lip balm and it really reminds me of the black cherry lip balm from body shop gorgeous gorgeous scent and really really strong you really only need one of these hearts <gasps> absolutely love that it's oh it's just such a gorgeous black cherry scent one of my favorite ones i've ever tried actually absolutely love that scent okay the next one i have here unicorn farts <laughs> i absolutely absolutely love that name now this was 
slightly less strong than the others because I have to say the Escada and the Black Cherry are super duper strong. And I'd say the um, one I mentioned before, that Little Mermaid, even though it's strong, it's more on the higher end of medium, whereas the other two are super strong, which I love. Everyone knows I love my really, really strong scent. So this was the more, this is a really kind of sweet, um, musky, clean kind of scent so it's a, you get an element of sweetness in there with like an element of musk as well and it's a, it's a clean scent as well it's a sweetie clean yeah it's like a musky like a white musk with an undertone of sweetness in there very very slight though actually a very sort of slight sweetness in there like a musky kind of scent and i really really like this one this was the least strong out of all of them i'd say this is on the medium medium level i'd say medium so this is um also good for somebody who doesn't want a scent that's too in your face because it also even though it's a little bit sweet it's also a very clean scent as well musky clean and really non-offensive if that makes sense so if you're one of those people who doesn't like scents that are too in your face not too boom you're gonna love this one so last but not least is <gasps> I absolutely love this one, Scent, Scent Sensational Stardust. And do you know what this reminded me of? It took a little while for the scent actually to really, really fill my room, but when it did, it was so strong and I absolutely loved it. And it lingered around for days as well. I had it in my hallway and I could still smell it, I kid you not, four days later. I'm not lying. Oh, oh my God. And do you know what it reminds me a bit of? Does anybody remember the J.Lo Glow perfume? It kind of reminds me of that a little bit sweeter and a little bit slightly muskier as well but that's what it reminds me of really kind of clean with a slight sort of hint of sweetness in there and again this is one of those scents that if you're not after something that's too boom in your face even though it's, it does hang around and it will linger for a long long time it's non-offensive so if you don't like anything that's too sweet or too fruity i'm sure you're going to love this one but i absolutely loved it and the funny thing was with this one it's one of those scents that when you smell it in the packaging even though you can smell it you think oh that might be like a light to medium it was really really strong in the end and the scent hung around for ages so there's my review of all the latest scent c wax melts i have to say i enjoyed all of them i loved them all and i will leave all her details in the description box down below and that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it please subscribe if you're new please hit the bell notification button so you know when i upload a new video and i hope you have a lovely day bye